Hi, this is Anthony Gudino with a tutorial on how to set up your Google Plus profile. If you're new to Google Plus, it's a social network like Facebook, only better, at least in my opinion. In order to use Google Plus effectively, it's important to set it up properly. So let me show you how. So first off, uh, just go to Google and then, you know, just search for uh, Google Plus. And the very first result, um, you will see Google Plus and then you basically just click this link. And on this page, uh, you will have to either sign up or sign in. Um, use this link right up top that says create an account if you do not have a Gmail or Google account. But if you do, use this section below to just enter your email address, password, and sign in. Uh, once you sign in, uh, you know, it will be brought to um, the Google Plus social network. Now, this will look, this screen will look a little different uh, for you. Um, if you're doing this for the first time, I've been using Google Plus, you know, since it launched in June 2011, um, and um, when you first sign up, uh, Google will walk you through a few steps of getting started. Uh, it'll basically prompt you to upload a profile picture, cover photo, and complete your profile with information about yourself. Now, uh, you will also be prompted to connect with, uh, you know, people and add them to your circles, and we'll discuss this a in a little more detail later. Um, you will uh, be prompted to share, um, you know, about yourself uh, on, on your Google Plus wall and, you know, engage within the community. So now let me just walk you uh, through, you know, how to set up your Google Plus profile if you skip the above steps during the getting started process. So to get, um, you know, to your profile page, you can either click on this um, profile photo section on the top um, right, and then click, uh, you know, the View Profile button. Alternatively, you can just hover your mouse over here, where it says, um, you know, a Home, and you will see this um, section in the left sidebar. Um, then you basically click this um, Profile um, uh, icon or link, and um, once you do that, you can basically change your profile picture by, you know, clicking uh, this section right here. And once you do so, uh, on the next screen, which is this one right here, um, you basically can either click this button to select a photo from your computer, or use this section right on top, um, you know, to select uh, pictures from your album, uh, or you can use um, your web camera to take a picture of yourself as well. Um, once you choose a picture, you know, you can, um, you can basically uh, select it and then click this um, button that uh, right here that says uh, set as profile photo. Uh, next, you'll have to change your Google Plus uh, cover photo, which is this section right up top. Um, you basically click this um, button that says change cover. And um, once you do so, uh, you know, on this screen, you can either choose a cover photo from the default gallery or use a section up top to either upload it from your computer or choose one from, from your albums. I've already uploaded, um, you know, cover photos. So I'm going, to, I'm going to choose this one right here. So you basically click on that picture and um, then you can adjust this frame um, like this, and um, once you do that, just click this button that says uh, select cover photo, and this is what it's going to look like once it's uploaded and you scroll up. Uh, this is a full size. Um, next, you basically need to complete a profile, um, and you can click this about link right up top, and on your profile page, you will see many sections. Um, like this is the circles, or, you know, people circles. Uh, the story section is your about me section, your education, work, contact information, etc. Um, so, you know, you can click this edit link right here, and um, you will basically see this pop up box. And um, in this section right here, you can enter a tagline, a little intro about yourself, and um, in bragging rights. Um, and this section right here, you can basically uh, 
choose to make each of these sections, you know, public or private by just dropping down those um, that arrow. And um, you know, once you choose your, um, you know, whether you want it public or private or to specific circles or only to yourself, um, then you click this uh, save button to save it. Similarly, um, you can basically click uh, or use these sections right up top, right here, uh, you know, to either update your work experience, your education, uh, you know, places you've lived in, um, you know, your web properties, and and other things. Um, and once you've completed, um, you know, your profile, um, you can use this section right here uh, to basically, you know, view the profile as yourself or how anyone else is going to see it, like in public. You can also use this box right here to enter a specific name of an individual to see how that person will see your profile. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, in a separate video, I will show you how to set up your Google Plus privacy settings and notifications. And uh, you can check uh, the description section of this YouTube video as well for a Google Plus setup guide. And if you've got any questions, you know, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thank you.